I'm going to show you where all the dragon glyphs are in World of Warcraft Dragonflight. So you need these in order to upgrade your uh, dragon riding skill. Uh, in order to unlock all these, get all the perks and stuff so that you can win races and just, you know, knock people out of the air and just all sorts of cool stuff. Um, so before we start, though, I really want you to know that there's a dragon riding trainer right here if you need one. I, I, there's, there's probably others. I don't know, actually. I always just go to this one out of habit. Uh, but this is over in the Waking Shores, and it's uh, near the Ruby Life Pools up here. Another thing that's important to know is that when you go to the Dragon Riding Trainer, you can actually see how many glyphs you have left in each zone. So if you are missing some, uh, you can go here to check which, which zone it is that you're missing them from. So that'll help you finish off each one. Also, it's important to know that this is what the glyphs look like, and all you have to do is fly through them with your dragon in order to get them now they'll be gold normally but after you get them they'll look gray and all you gotta do is fly through them one time and then you get the dragon glyph so now i'm going to show you where all of them are in world of warcraft dragon flight so as i just showed you the first dragon glyph is right here over um where you get the uh dragon riding skill uh, it's literally just right there like i just showed you a second ago Okay, so the next dragon glyph that you're going to get is also just right here, right under your nose. So at the place where you get dragon riding in um, the Waking Shores, you look up and at the very top of this tower, you'll be able to find one. So you'll need at least three boosts in order to get up there and then fly through it. And then you'll be able to get that dragon glyph. Again, that one is right there on the map. Okay, so the next one is going to be over right around where my mouse is on the map. So from here, you can actually see the tower. Uh, there's a tower just from this, I don't even know what to call this thing, mountain. And you fly to the northwest over to here. And then there's this obnoxious broken down tower. And inside of it is another dragon glyph. So that's right there on the map. All right, so the next glyph is going to be by Wingcrest Embassy. And you'll find it uh, on the top of one of these buildings right there. You can see it from right here and go down to here and there is that dragon glyph right by all these uh elementals on the ground so the next one i'm working my way towards it this one's going to take a lot of resting on mountains and waiting for vigor but if you open up the map it's right at the end of the r on scale cracker keep and it is literally that mountain the tallest mountain in the entire zone so it'll take you a while to get there but you'll just, just rest on mountains get vigor back and fly up there all right so there it is once you get that turn to the west so i was right there where the r was you're gonna head west towards these broken towers over here and it'll be uh, on top of this tower that we're heading towards all right so you head in and once you're close enough you'll see it just right above the point on this thing and you just go through and tag that and there's your next glyph so that one is right here on the map all right the next one i'm gonna have you go to is gonna be over in the obsidian citadel it's like in a volcano basically so i would go to this one next because you already have so much height and just head get some vigor back and then just fly over glide over to uh, the volcano and then i'll show you where it is once we get over there okay so here's the next one it's at the very top of the volcano in the back of the obsidian citadel it's gonna be right around there and uh once you get over to it you just gotta tag it although you're gonna need two jumps apparently so i'm gonna have to redo that but you get the point it is again right here on the map in this volcano so next up, you're going to head to the east. You're going to head towards the Obsidian Bulwark. That's where the next Dragon Glyph is. And as you come in towards this mountain, it's going to be over here. I'll show you the map once I grab it. But the next Dragon Glyph is right there. Oh, okay. And uh, that exact spot is right there on the map to the south, mainly just south of the Obsidian Bulwark. Okay, so from here, you're going to go up. You're going to head to the north, northeast, uh, towards this little mire or whatever you want to call it, uh, to the northeast of the obsidian bulwark text and as you head towards it you'll see it right there on top of that hill by this stuff so once i get it i'll show you exactly where this is on the map okay uh and this little ledge is right here uh just to the north of the obsidian bulwark okay so the next one you're gonna want to grab is gonna be right around there on the map where that lake is and that wall so from here you're just gonna fly over to the east and head towards the wall Right, as you're coming in towards this broken down wall on the map, you'll be able to see it right here underneath of this. Let me get that, scoot back around, and that was right here on the map. All right, so the next one's gonna be on this plateau right here to the south. 
So from here, you're gonna head over this way towards that plateau. And as I'm coming in, you can see what I'm talking about. It's right up there, although I may not have enough flight to get it right now, but that doesn't really matter too much. Uh, so again, this plateau is over here in the, uh, oh no, I came up short. Well, anyway, uh, it's this plateau right here in the Waking Shores. Okay, so from this plateau, you're gonna head to south of the town, south of that uh, Ruby Life Pools dungeon. So from here, you're gonna head over to this, just past this broken down tower, over there's uh, the main city, and there's gonna be a glyph right here. So right here on the map, that's where the last one is. Uh, and that is all of the glyphs for the Waking Shore. So now let's take a look at On Haran Plains. Okay, so the next one's gonna be right over this bridge on your way to the plains. So we're doing the plains now. You go to the plains, it's gonna be right up here on your way into the plains at the river right here on this road, just right on the bridge. Okay, so from here, you are going to head south into deeper into the plains. And you're gonna go right along the road till you get near this river. And it's gonna be right around this river right here by this tree. So let me land right there. Uh, it is right there on the map to the left of Timber Step Outpost, the text on the map. Okay, so the next glyph, so from where we're at right now, you're gonna look to the southeast. You'll see this tower up on this hill over here. You're gonna head over to that. Okay, so the next, like I said, it's up at the top of this. Um, so at Ruthazar Reach, on the top of this thing that I was flying to just a second ago. We'll get with two right here. I've already had it before, but that's it. All right, so that's how to get that one. Again, that's right there on the map. Okay, so next up, you're gonna look to your west, and you'll see this obnoxious giant mountain in the distance, just right next to Markai. And uh, that is where the next one's gonna be. So ideally, you're gonna wait for all your vigor before going to try to save as much height as possible here. All right, so as we're coming in, there's Marukai. Here's the mountain, you can see it right up on top. I'm probably not gonna have enough speed to get this thing right now, but uh, you get the point on where this one's at. So let me see if I can make this at least. Oh my, it's a miracle. Holy. Anyway, right there at the top of this obnoxious mountain at Marukai. All right, so after you grab this one, you're gonna head over to the west towards Nokudan Hold. There's a giant mountain over there we're gonna head to. So you're gonna jump up to grab this. And then you're gonna head over this way while you have a ton of height. Now's your time to go over here and save some time. All right, I am coming in close. Again, it's right over here, Nokudan Hold, the biggest mountain on the backside. And there is this glyph right up here on the tallest peak. And then you can try to land on if you want. All right, so there we go. That is right there on the map. Uh, there's the next glyph. Okay, so from here, you're gonna head straight south. The next one's between Shady Sanctuary and Terakai, where that river ends. So you're just gonna head over this way and start heading down like this. All right, as you come in close, you'll be able to see it right above this little lake up there. So will be able to grab this, and then while you're at it, just go ahead and swing up and try to get up here because next up, you're gonna need to go south again. So that was uh, that lake right there on the map. Okay, so next up, uh, you're gonna go south of that little mark on the map for the Emerald Gardens, and it's gonna be up on a mountain down there. So go ahead and get some stuff and then start heading over this way. You'll be able to see it directly above this, like, I don't know, mound right here. It's right up there. And you might or might not be able to get it with, yeah, I think I can get it with four. Four was enough. So there you go. That is right there on the map. And that's where that glyph is in the plains. All right, next up, you'll see this tower off in the distance to the east. So you're gonna fly over towards this river and lake right there. And it will be at the top of that tower. All right, so as I come in close to this tower this by this river, you'll start to be able to see it there. And uh, yeah, it's just gonna be sitting up here. And then from here, we'll be actually be able to see the next one. So you're gonna grab this and then you have to rest. You're gonna need three uh, vigor because the next one's way up in the sky to the south, south east. So it's gonna be up by those mountains over there. All right, so you're gonna take off in this direction towards that, and you're gonna need three in order to get high enough. Maybe you can get it with two, but probably not. And then from here, so first I'm gonna show you where this is on the map. We're gonna grab this right there on the map. Then you're gonna head over to the Onhiri Springs, because the next one's over here. So right up here, um, at the top of this mountain, you'll be able to see this one, and I am not gonna be able to reach this. I'm gonna have to land and wait now, unfortunately but this next one is right here, just to the south of the Oniri Springs text. All right, so from here, you're gonna head north towards Cloverwood Hollow. There's this mound on the map, and the next one's gonna be uh, on the backside of the mound. All right, so as you come in, you can see that the last one's way up there. 
Oh, I'm losing frames. My game's gonna crash. Okay, no, we're good. Okay, so there's this one right here, right there on the map, on top of that mound. And then the next one, you're gonna fly down towards these rivers down here. And it will be way back down there, the bottom right, the, the east side of all that stuff. So here is the last one. That is right here on the map. Uh, so not there, but right here. And that is where the last um, glyph is in the On Onaran Plains. Now let's do the Azur Span. Also, I'd recommend flying back and turning in these in for more uh, benefits and stuff before you go to the next part because every part has more verticality than the last. All right, so there's the one I just got at the end of the plains. Well, now you head over here. You're technically in the Azure Span. It's going to be right over here to the south. There's this giant tower right here. And you're going to need probably four Vigors, at least three, in order to make it all the way up to this one. Yeah, you're going to need... You're going to need all of them. All right, so after this one, you're going to grab it, and then you're going to fly over to the west. All right, so I'm going to fly up now. I'm going to grab it. Then we're going to head over to the west. You're going to head over towards that little mountain right there, across the river and across the road. Okay, so from here, you're going to head straight down to this road. It's literally just on the road uh, near this mountain. So it's right there on the map, and that's where you'll find that glyph. Okay, so the next one's going to be over to the west on that, like, peninsula. There's going to be a giant rotten tree, and you're going to head over there and go to the top of the rotten tree. So as I'm coming in right now, you can see it. It is right here on this rotten tree. I'm going to grab it and then try to land on it. And that is right there on the map. All right, so from here, you're going to head west-southwest. You see this little strip of snow? It's on the north side of that snow in that little mountain range over there. So you're going to get three or four bubbles, and then you're going to head over this way and make your way over to that. As you come in, you'll see this one pine tree by itself, and it's just floating right here next to the pine tree right there. So that is where to find that one. And then after that, you're going to keep your momentum, and you're going to fly over to the east, over towards this dungeon, the Azure Archives. All right, so you can see it now over here, the Azure Archives. It's just up there, up at the very top of this ring up here. And then after that, you can just land and take a rest. Okay, so next up, you are going to head over to the east, north, east, these three little dots on the map right over there. So just head out this way and fly over there while you still have some height. All right, so right over here by the three dots, there's this one up by these trees. And it's going to be exact spot on the map. It's going to be right here, just next to uh, that river right there. All right, so next up, you're going to head south, southwest towards this little island right here. It's going to be on that, south of that flight path. Okay, so at the end of the river, you can fall off to the nothingness, and it's right here on the map. So you'll see it like that. Oh, let me land. So it was right there at the end of the river. Okay, next up from here, you're going to head to the east of that flight path, just where that river breaks. You're going to go south of that where the mountains start. So you're going to head over this way. I'd highly recommend getting all four of your vigor if you have four or at least three and if you need to you can stop here on the left on your way and then try to get more because you need some serious verticality to get back up all right so as we're coming in you can already see it right now it's at the top of this obnoxious tower and i'm gonna personally have to rest to get some more vigor back but you see it now it's right there at the top of that tower right there on the map all right so once you get this you're gonna head up to the north so i'm gonna grab this real fast now you're going to head to the north, right where there's that island in the river. You're going to head to the east of that, and it's going to be uh, near where the mountains start. So as I'm coming in, you can already kind of see it. It's at the top of this tower right here. And unfortunately for me, I do not have enough speed to probably get it at all. Maybe? Maybe? Nope. So uh, that tower is you right here on the map. Like. And then get the next them. one's going to be just to the north of us. All right, once you get this one, you're going to head north over this mountain range, if you can get over it. And you can already kind of see it right there. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. I'm probably going to have to wait for a little bit of vigor again. But it is. Let me get over to it and then open up my map. It is technically right here on the map but that's where that glyph is all right so after you grab this one 
You're gonna head to the northeast. You get as much height as you can, and then you're going to head over this way. And we're gonna head over towards uh, that road that leads into Thaldrassus. All right, quick edit here. There was another one that uh, I accidentally glossed over when doing this whole section. Uh, so we just did this one over there. Well, on the way to this one that we're heading to, um, there's actually one in between these two points to the southeast of Ronin Shield. There's this tower right here, and up in this tower, there's a glyph. And so get that one before this next one I'm going to show you. All right, so the last one's right here, right at the start of this broken bridge that leads to Thaldrassus, right there on the map. And that is all for the Azur Span. Now, I would highly recommend you go and spend your tokens at this point at the trainer over in the Waking... Waking, whatever the hell this place is called, uh, because this last zone, Thaldrassus, is so mountainous, you're going to need every single perk and Vigor Restore perk that you can possibly get, so I'd highly recommend that before doing this last part. All right, I hope you're ready for the crappiest zone to do out of them all. So now we're going to be doing um, Thaldrassus. So let's start with the main city, Valdraken. You're going to get up on top of this giant thing. There's a teleporter at the bottom. You can fly it, but it'll take forever, but you can just go to the bottom. There's a teleporter. It'll spit you out of here. Then you're going to get on your mount, and you're going to fly up onto this dome, and it is right on top of the dome right there, and it's going to take probably three flights in order to get it, and then just land up here. All right, so from here, I'm going to recommend flying south over to where all these little spots are by the Garden Shrine flight path. And you should be able to easily get here with one jump from over here. And we're going to head over towards this. All right, as we're coming in close, you'll see it in this building right here. Uh, so that's right here on the map. And it's up on this tower. So that's a good one to get next. All right, so from here, you're going to head to the uh, northeast towards this giant mountain right here. And depending on how much vigor you have, you may have to stop short. Um, even with five, I feel like there's like literally no way to get high enough. So you have to get up as high as you can and then land somewhere on the side of it. And then make your way up afterwards. It's right up here. We'll see it in just a second. It is right there. So we'll probably have to land right here. Get some recharge and then, then go for it. Okay, so once you get this part, this uh, glyph I mean, then you're going to head to the northeast. Oh, I barely got that. Um, so you're gonna head down here. So this flight path, you're gonna head to the east of this flight path on that road. It's kind of like a broken down looking city right here. And you'll be able to find it just floating right in the middle of the city. And after you try to recover some altitude and land somewhere. But it should be right down here. Uh, right here, over the bridge. And then after that, just go ahead and fly up somewhere and perch somewhere. And then recharge and get ready to go to the next thing. All right, so from where I'm at right now, if you look to the southeast, you can actually see the next one. And then uh, I would recommend flying up and over this and then flying over to grab this. And once you grab this, then you're going to head southeast again. There's this hourglass thing on the map. It's basically the center of the hourglass. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to skip ahead to that, but it's, it's over there-ish. All right, so when you head over here by this hourglass thing, there's this one tower right here. And you'll need at least two jumps to get up here. And it'll be in this tower. So again, right here on the map, looking down at all that stuff. All right, so now the next one's gonna suck. So you're gonna wait for all your vigor. And this is why I said you should really trade in your points before going to this zone. Now we gotta go all the way up there to the top of the tallest mountain up there. I'm not even sure which one I can't tell from here, but whichever one's taller. And it's gonna be a lot of flying and then waiting for your vigor and then flying and then waiting for your vigor. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do next. It's this one right here on the map. Okay, so there it was up on the giant mountain. I got knocked off, uh, but now you're gonna head north to the left side of the green icon for this raid. And it's gonna be down here in this molten lava pit. I am gonna go ahead and fall now and uh, I will see you guys there. All right, you can see it right there. Uh, I don't know that I'll be able to get it with a levitate necessarily, but uh, yeah, it's over there in that lava pool to, I guess it's actually to the north of the green circle. I don't know why I thought it was to the left. Northeast, northwest? Anyway, uh, yeah, so it's right there. That's where the next one is, uh, right there on the map roughly. All right, so uh, once you are done with this one, you're gonna head west through this valley and you're gonna head over to Tear Hole. It's around the Halls of Infusion on the map. Uh, you'll find it in these uh, ruins or tower, the city, whatever you wanna call it. All right, so once you get to where this I don't know whatever you want to call it is. You'll see this floating rock up here. And it's just up on this floating rock. Uh, so this one, when we land here, I'll show you exactly the exact spot on the map. Uh, that is right there on the map. Tear hold. And that's how you get that glyph. All right, so from here, if you want to get the next one, you're going to go to the east of the Algathar Academy dungeon. 
So you're gonna jump off right here and you're gonna head over this way. Okay, so that tower I was flying at in that last clip, you land on it and it's hidden up here in this dome right here. You're gonna grab that, land back down. Uh, and then that is right there on the map if you wanna know where that tower is. Okay, so from this tower, you're gonna head north to this island. It's at the very end of that river. So just from here, it's probably that tower. I don't remember, but we'll find out together. And just like before, it is in that tower up under the dome. And that is how you get that one right there. Now we're gonna head back down to the southwest. It is basically directly on top of the Algathera flight path. So from here, you're just gonna head off this way and try to get over to that flight path. All right, so there's this big tower right here by the flight path. And it is just gonna be right above this tower. So that's right there on the map, just to the north of the Algathera flight path. And that's it. That is every single one of the uh, dragon glyphs. And then from here, this route that I gave you will put you back in the perfect place. Just immediately fly back over to the uh, Skytop Observatory and spend your points if you want to. Or you can go home over to Valdraken now. You're just, either way, you're you know you're right here, the center of the world. Uh, but there you go. That is how to get all of them. And now you can unlock every single uh, talent or you know ability and passive for your dragon and your dragon riding profession in World of Warcraft Dragonflight.